I did my MBA and I worked for a company, aerospace company, and then I chose to change my field to computers area, IT, and both the companies were in IT field. But I retired early by 2005, I had retired, so I had plenty of time. But lifestyle diseases had caught up with me. I thought I was eating well and, and exercising and I was always health conscious. But still at uh, the time of uh, 2012, I was taking five different medications. I was taking medications for uh, high blood pressure, medication for uh, diabetes, um, also for uh, thyroid and gout. I had been uh, diagnosed as uh, a sleep apnea, so I was asked to sleep with a mask on. I was also diagnosed with osteoarthritis and asked to start on that medication. So uh, I was looking and trying to figure out what I might have done wrong, how come I was taking uh, medications for these five, six uh, diseases. Then I came across uh, a documentary on 1st of January 2013 called uh, Forks Over Knives. Uh, what it meant was that instead of using a knife to cut your rib cage for open heart surgery, if you would use your fork properly and eat the right food, you will never need the knife. That documentary resonated with me and my wife and we decided to make some changes in our diet and lifestyle. And when we made those changes, uh, pretty soon the, the results uh, were apparent. Our friends started telling us that you look better, you have lost weight. And uh, net net within 12 months, I was off all medications. So this is what led me to change my field to what I'm doing today. I'm doing it, uh, uh, I've created a non-profit organization, Plant Based Wellness Foundation. And that's what uh, I'm doing. And I'm in a, currently on a trip to India, uh, visiting uh, 15 cities, giving uh, talks on the subject. My fondest memories uh, relate to uh, a lot of photography because I was uh, the, the official photographer for Spark and that was my passion. When I came to IIT in 1966, uh, August, there was a photography competition in the local magazine called Spark and it was, uh, I entered some photographs and, 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 a, and a week later or four or five days later, I heard a knock on my door. Some senior students uh, came to congratulate me that not only I had won first prize, that they thought all my photographs were, were the best among other photographs. So they made me a spark photographer. I became an official photographer in my second month on the campus for the rest of the five years. And I enjoyed that. I took a lot of photographs of uh, celebrities who came here and, uh, and, and the cover photograph on the Spark magazine and I have really fond memories of that. I also became a hobby secretary and I uh, did a one-man show at Computer Center in 1969-70. Uh, in, uh, so that is one and then second of course my days at uh, uh, Hall 3 and Hall 5 uh, and uh, we had a lot of fun. Those are very fond memories. I am a scholar of Vedanta. I was with uh, Swami Chimyananda for uh, 14 years from 1979 to 1993 when he uh, passed away or took Mahasamadhi as we like to say. Uh, and, and I cherish those 14 years of, uh, of memory. So my first passion is Vedanta. But there are so many teachers of Vedanta out there today and, 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 and then my second passion is uh, health and uh, I am able to contribute by helping people.